What is the state of this caravan? What, from what Asan has seen? Yes. Uh, are they carrying a lot of baggage? Yeah, I mean... Or are they travelling light? No, no, no. It's, I mean, you're talking about... All of Mastero's crap. 200 beasts of burden? No, 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 not that caravan, the, the Master Darius caravan. Oh, it's like, it's like, there is no caravan, it's, it's Master Dero, it's, um, someone who you've not seen much of, um, but is an elf, quite well dressed, looks like some kind of duelist, he's kind of travelling on horse pretty close to Master Dero. The other side of Master Darrow is Tolan, who you would have met, who some kind who you know kind of helped to heal Master Darrow and might be someone who mucks around with our chemical things a bit. Uh, you know there's another bodyguard to Master Darrow, but you haven't met them. Yeah, cool. So How it's are... about a dozen people? No, not even that. So not even you've that. Got, you've got the three. You've three, got, five, six, and yeah, Ricky. Yeah, you've got six and Ricky. And you've got this other bodyguard that Mordred told you about, but you've never met. Okay. Who Mordred said basically will keep it will keep its distance, whatever that means. That's it. Okay. Well, I will uh, request that Sticks and Ricky come with me and we walk up to Master Dero. Ah, oh, good sensor. <clears throat> At least the rain has uh, stopped now. How, how much longer until we get to, um, to this... Uh, Serenity place. I'm looking forward to a good bath and what I hope to be a proper settlement. Um, Master Dara, I believe that the appropriate time frame would be indefinite. Um, I have spoken to Alara. Uh, she has uh, met up with a caravan. Good, good. Uh, they can. Um, uh, they, they can are heading to um, Venston. Serenity. I've been expecting them. I need to speak to their caravan master. They have been to Serenity. Been. Ah, that's inconvenient. Their hmm. report is that Serenity is dead. Literally. I beg your pardon? It is inhabited by the spectral dead. I don't understand. I... We've just packed up. They're dead, Jim. All dead. But but, 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 Mordred, Master de la Sand assured me I would be far safer there than I would be in the mud hole I've just left. Are you telling me that it's less safe? That entirely depends on your ability to uh, protect yourself from a ghost. Correct. can you deal with these things? I don't know. I'm not sure I fought a ghost before. I got the impression that there were several of them. Hmm. Perhaps my lord, a cleric, some form of priest might be in order. Yes, good idea, Quarrick. Um, has this caravan master brought a priest with him? They have a priest of Phrasma, my lord. Well, who has problem solved. to Alara. So she didn't... Said that... No. 
Well, well, hang on. If she's a priestess of Phrasma, why hasn't she dealt with these ghost things? Uh, I do not know her reasoning. I just know that she hasn't. Well, maybe she's some junior or something. <laughs> well, no doubt I will speak to the caravan master and we can get the situation resolved. Ah, yes. Uh, Alara has suggested that you set up camp here, or they will be here within a day or two. Um, the day is at young. I don't set camp up now. We'll, um, we'll, we'll, we're probably travelling faster than they are anyway. We'll, we'll meet them on the way. If you, uh, lead on, good, um, whatever it is you are, then, um, uh, uh, we can, um, we'll, we'll meet them en route and, uh, I'll put this caravan master right on a couple of things. Um, Remind him. They, who... they seem fairly, uh, certain of their decision. They have crossed the river and I do not believe they have the ability to go back. Yes, very good. Well, we'll, um, if you need on, then, uh, I, I will take it off. My apologies, my lord, but She's I am um, travelling in the opposite direction. I must return to Vincent. I bear a message for Mordred. No, oh, very well. Um, could you at least, um, could you at least, um, Yes, What's yes, of course. Um, of where this caravan is before you go? Yes. Um, on horseback, it will take you about a day. You should meet them if you follow this ground. And heading this direction. Let's see. Very well. Very good. Well, um, yes, we'll, um, we'll sort it out, I'm sure. Uh, Alara sent you a note. And I will hand him the note. Mm -hmm. It is literally a note. It is, um, traveling north the caravan... Serenity is uninhabitable. Uh, wait there. Um, we'll meet up with you in a day or two. Okay. And then, yeah, Asana will ride off, basically. Okay. Um, right, uh, so De Havilland, what, what, what's your plan next? Um, they seem pretty spooked, and, um, the soldiers appear to have kind of got themselves organised in some kind of defensive formation. Good, I'll approach them on foot. Uh, Lance stowed. That sort of thing. Okay. <clears throat> and, um... White flags? Uh, yeah, how how exactly are you approaching them on foot, dude? Well, and some ways away. Further than their arrows allow. Hmm. And further than... Okay. Implement. Just allows, say, a good thousand, two thousand feet. Okay. And I'll make <clears throat> a white flag out of a bed sheet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and a stick. <laughs> good plan. Uh, 
So Asana is traveling onwards. The rest of Mastero's group is traveling south. Corva and the Templars appear to have been um, distracted. Very good. Hire is still with the caravan. Hire the acolyte is still the caravan. Huh. Okay. Uh, Hire the, the junior priest. Right, yeah, yeah. Did you um get my IM, Pablo? Ah, oh, yes. Let me check what this lad's perception is. Yeah, as I said, I approached the settlement large white flag in hand. Where's this white flag come from? Bed sheet. Mm. Doesn't seem very likely you'd have that stashed in your equipment. Well, I have a bed roll and sort of other camping That's equipment and that kind of thing. So I guess you could hold out your bed roll as opposed to a white bed sheet. It's hard to look threatening whilst holding a bed roll in front of you, I think. <laughs> yes. Just bed roll tied to a stick. Well, that's probably does the job. Right. Um... There's um, a few of these humans in armour pointing a range of bows, crossbows, and those strange um, metallic sticks that kind of make bang uh, noise. Um, there's also um, a couple of other individuals uh, of... Note. Um, uh, one uh, is a uh, middling height, I think human male, dressed mm, quite well, clearly comes from some uh, family of some territory. Um, as seems quite calm, as does his companion, who is a female human, uh, wearing an awful lot of metal armour. Um, and the way she's kind of positioned slightly in front of the perhaps wealthy merchant, you think? Uh, she may have some stations. Uh, Marshal servant to this man. They they oh. step forward whilst the uh, other soldiers keep their weapons trained. The rest of the populace appear to be hiding behind various dwellings and tents, but occasionally spying out to them. I'll approach them. Well, couldn't have them. 
Ah, so this is the settlement I was looking for. Must say, tiny bit disappointing. The, the caravan will think so as well. I'm sorry you're disappointed. If we'd known that you were coming, we would have made special arrangements. Oh, I think you've made plenty of arrangements. I sort of look at the quarrel in my leg. Well, perhaps um, a misunderstanding of cultures. Yes, I guess you're not used to flying creatures dropping in who aren't trying to kill you and take all your stuff. I'm used to that, but unfortunately, um, most of the inhabitants here are not. Perhaps we might retire to um, uh, my tent. Uh, I will have um, uh, Dame Elendia here have a look at your unfortunate wound, whilst uh, we explain who you are and why you have decided to visit us in this fashion. That would be preferable. And I roll up my bed, my bedroll, and stash it. Mordred kind of makes a um, a motion of his hand flapping down, and the soldiers sort of uh, lower their weapons, but they're still very much on their guard. Yes. Um, you have to say the settlement's no more impressive as you kind of wander down on foot. If anything, it's slightly more depressing, quite smelly, lots of mud. Um, there's been heavy rain here recently, and quite a lot of its the ground's all kind of churned up. Um, uh, your route to this tent involves you travelling um, uh, across uh, or through an area where you have a number of they're kind of shacks really they're not even um, proper dwellings they look like they've been built very much with uh, an emphasis on speed rather than durability mm -hmm. you come to a tent not not uh, not a match for uh, the uh, suggested territory that uh, this human male's clothing uh, would imply um, but when you enter it you notice there are a number of rugs um, a table some stools a chair uh, a um, uh, some form of um, uh, vase made of glass that has a lid on it and seems to have some liquid in it the um the human male who enters in after you um, goes to this and pours out three goblets, handing one to you. And so give it a smell. Smells quite, quite sweet. It's like cloying kind of smell. Mm. Mm, a bit flowery as well. Remember, Alara gave you a note for this person. Yes, I know. I will. But I don't know who he is yet. He hasn't introduced himself. So, um, I'll sort of take it and say, well, I believe introductions are in order. Um, my name is de Havilland Maladine, Sky Lord of the Maladine clan. Hmm. And I, we, me and my sister recently joined up with a caravan whose master stated it was his intent to reach Venson. I, He seems somewhat 
seems somewhat more important now that I see the state of Benson. Well, um, so I am Mordred de la Sandra. And this uh-huh. is my companion, Dame Lindia Thalash. Ah, uh, you're Mordred. I have uh, a note for you. Signs to the Denison uh, family. It is a pleasure to meet you. Uh, uh, de Havilland. De Havilland, uh, Maladine. I had no idea there were Wyverns nearby. Um, Not nearby. We've travelled a while. And the want for exploration is part of our blood and indeed yes i i have some some small knowledge of why um hmm. certainly it is uh i must apologize for if, uh, our soldiers were somewhat uh, nervous in their response there are many Many humans here of a nervous disposition. There have been some difficulties. But um, um, I am mostly dealing with those now. I pull out the note Laura gave me and hand it to Mordred. Turn. Oh, I will pass this on to Alara next time. Is there anything else I can do before I return to the caravan? Um, I wonder whether for a small, modest fee, you would be willing to um, fly north of here and see if you can see uh, uh, any mounted humans might be coming this way, particularly if they're wearing armour as mounted humans are want to do. How far would you be looking to? Mm, maybe if you flew for a, flew around, maybe in a semicircle for a day, would that be reasonable? How does um? If the note, if your return note is not as important, I can do that. My return note at this point is, um, it seems events will take care of themselves. This is slightly more urgent. Um, say a hundred gold, that's fine. I agree to that. Yeah. Um, also sort of inform him of what he's seen in the caravan and the the state of the caravan as he knows it. But yeah. I'll fly out and do that. Okay. Uh, you go to do that. Um, Usual rolls. Yes, please. Um, okay. Um, I 
Lara, were you making any attempts to leave the caravan to find Martadero's group, or were you assuming a son a son would take care of it? I'm ranging ahead, but I'm more mapping than looking for. Understand. Understand. That's my roles. First is survival, then perception, as usual. Suffice to say, Dowland is not as good at this as her sister, as his sister. You guys still there? Yeah. Sorry, I had um, I had to go on mute very temporarily. Right. Uh, understood. Um. Well, I had already I would you that De Havilland had noticed something whilst he was flying down to go on the ground. So. Yeah. Yeah. Marvellous. Um, okay. Uh, someone was saying about... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. There was a guy. I'm going to use that to denote planes. Wait, what? What's going on? So from a mapping point of view, I'm going to use the desert hexes to denote planes and the light green to denote hills. That's probably the best way of doing it. Mm. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Needs must and all of that. I will sort that out in a bit. Can I do that? Uh, no, it doesn't quite work. Yeah. The, the difference between the flat and the hills is um, non existent. Yeah. That's why I'm I'm replacing. Yeah, I'm just looking at it. Not ideal, but it is what it is. Oh, that's really annoying. It's massively annoying. Um, just a thought, but is there a river on that hex? Uh. No, what happens is the uh, the river oxbows, so just literally kind of just maybe the very sort of nudging part into the hex and then it oxbows back. I did describe it last session. Okay, yeah. Uh, massively frustrating. Right. Okay, and then and then it goes onto this hex. I assume is that correct? Yeah, 
Yeah, so it goes back on itself and goes on to there. Okay. Um, well, I will um make sure to note that on the map that I'm drawing. Oh, where is my book? Wow, this doesn't get much more annoying, does it? Okay. Oh, I also am a bit. Okay, um, so the caravan continues travelling northwards. Um, and uh, the Haviland is doing a bit of extra sideline work from Mordred. Asana has travelled north to take notes to Mordred. Um, uh, the Master Darrow group continues to travel south to meet up with the caravan. Hires in the caravan. The Quinning, what's the Quinning doing? Oh, he said be right back, didn't he? Very good. Okay. Um. Your opinion is that you're actually closer, Alara. Okay. So if you look at the map now, yep, you're actually not too far at all. Forest. Cool. Okay. I need to replace that hex, but I'm. I'll do so. Um, Haya and Sakel, are you doing anything? Haya's scribing, and uh, Sakel's going to keep watch in case they get they get jumped by those warg riders. Fun. Um, we're not entirely sure what Quinn's doing because he's well, he's maybe taking so much he needs sleep, as he's been doing quite a bit. Here you go. Uh, um. Alara, how much, how kind of more, I, I guess you're mapping in front, so, okay, so probably by, towards the end of the following day, you will come across Master Darrow and his party. Cool. Uh, you will recognise Sticks and Ricky. Yes. Uh, you will recognise um, Tolan and his friend Quarick, who you're not that familiar with. Um, maybe had one or two minor conversations with. Um, some kind of bodyguard, you think, of Master Darrow? Certainly seems to be riding very close to him. Um, and that's it. It's just literally Sticks, Ricky, Colin, Horrock, and Master Darrow. There's an elf here. Yes, Horrock is indeed an elf. Hello. Horrock is an elf. Cool. Um. Yes, yes. Um, who am I speaking to? Korok uh, Jartang. I know it has ah, been. Uh, uh, that, that was a Cameron, not a Alara. I, I know it has been a little while. How are you? Greetings. How, um, I am. Better than, better than the populace in Serendipity. Yes? Yes. Yes, what is, what is going on, Alara? Mordred has sent me to Serendipity because I, it's not safe in Venson, and Venson is a rancid mud hole of the poor. 
Um, but mm, the creature you keep as a pet of some sort mm, told me that there's spirits and other things there. What of this Yasin fellow? I have not seen him. Well, apparently he's in charge there. I I have been told he is dead. Well, that's not very convenient. No. Especially for him. <clears throat> Still... Sure, we can find a replacement. Um, <sighs> priest of Phrasma that um, was mentioned. Hasn't, hasn't he dealt with these spirits? She is quite um, skilled from all I've seen of her, though I do not believe that she has any intention of dealing with these spirits. I don't understand. Isn't that what Priests of Phrasma do? I'm not particularly familiar with the Phrasman faith. So I'll take I would caravan, say that... Master, how far are we from the caravan? Are they all mounted? Yeah. Um, we should, you should camp with them this evening. Excellent. Mm. I bought, um, some of that fine stuff that, um, those iron wings were drinking. I'm sure it'd be appreciated by the caravan master from what I've heard of him. The poisoned spirit. What? What poison? What? The spirit that was recovered from the... Uh further to the east no not that stuff no 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 I tried that stuff and Holland here told me best not to shame I had a pang trick but no not that stuff no some other stuff that tollen has been making for the iron wings isn't that right Tollen? Tollen looks a bit kind of bashful but not and smiles at me no no I'm not I have been away for a long time I don't know that I've had any of that. But yes, that. I'm sure. But, um, I'm sure there will be uh, a bit of that. Theo said it wasn't bad. You're welcome to try some. Well, anything you people drink south of the mountains is terrible. No. You're not the only one who's remembers. Uh, how things taste north of the mountains, uh, Alara. Alara will remember this. Shall we, um, do you wish to show us on our way? I would like to get off this horse. I will uh, point him in the right direction that. and continue mapping my hex. Perhaps, Tolan, you could um, do that thing you do with my feet when we get there. Yes, sir, my lord. So, are, are you in any way helping them to the caravan, or are you just letting them bumble along? Um, am I in this sand hex? You are. Towards the top so of it. mapping anything today, particularly. No, you've kind of come to the come towards the end. 
Okay. Um. Yeah, I'll I'll help them back then. Okay. Um. The Quinn. Yep. Uh, I'm trying to remember what you were doing. What's up? What is the Quinn doing? He's having a little rest. Scouting. <laughs> having a rest and scouting, scouting and having a rest. Marvellous. Okay, so you've had a little rest, uh, so it's time for you to do a little scout. Well, whereabouts are you scouting? Well, I located both positions of um, both the Templars and the Org Riders. So I'm yeah. to uh, keep an eye on said war riders, see if they've made any significant process towards us. Okay, you know the drill. Higher on Sakelli, you so higher scribing Sakelli is <clears throat> seeing if he could be useful. <clears throat> yep. Okay. Do I roll as well? Ah, uh, if you wish. First roll. It's survival. Oh, the sheets are broken. Yeah, the sheets are broken. What have been telling you. What have been That's saying obnoxious. For a while. The sheets are entirely broken. That is quite obnoxious. Oh, skills. Yeah, uh, I, 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 apparently I don't find them. <laughs> Let me try... Okay. Oh, yes, they are. They're all broken. Well, the roll macro is not working. Uh, Ego, is this map correct? Which map? The the now adjusted scale map. Are those yes. hexes correct as a representation to yes. each other? Those hexes okay. are correct as a representation of each other. Well, I will uh, transfer from using two maps that I'm drawing to one. Thing. Super. Make it so, number two. Because, you know, why would I not draw the map as well as have hexes? Can't have too much of a good thing, clearly. Mm -hmm. mm. That's supremely annoying. Uh, oh, that's kind of silly, isn't it? Mm. Ish. Ish. Mm. Mm. Oh, there we go. That's what I want. Bingo bongo. Right. Ah. Ideal, but it will do for now. Right. Uh, yes, the map is indeed correct. Um. Okay. It comes to um. 
Uh, um, to Quinnin, you have lost the Wall Riders again. If you're about. It has now come to the end of the following day, and the Master Darrow party rendezvous with the caravan. Uh, Matthias has called a meeting of significant travellers to join him in his tent for that evening. Aya shows up. Okay. Who else? Now, Lara shows up, but questions herself as significant. No, that's fair enough. Uh, to Quinn? Does to Quinn show up? Aya lets, uh, lets her know. Very well. Right, guys, I need two minutes and then we will have our Matthias Marcedero check. Cool. This can only end well. No, Cameron, do not mark one town as the other, because you're thick. I kind of feel a lot sorry for our new player. Hello? Hello? Except there isn't a year. Precisely. <laughs> yeah. Because we keep running away from them.
Who is here? Me. Uh, why was it named Serendipity? Uh, that was Yasin's player's choice. He, he just oh, wanted to name the settlement Serendipity. And uh, so it was. Fair enough. Uh, I propose renaming it to Alara Town. Wouldn't that be lovely? Yes. Clearly. No, we uh, we named the settlement after the guy who originally owned it but died. Yeah. His uh, his family name was, I think it was Leviton. Fair enough. Or was it Levenko? Yeah. Fort Levenko. Yeah, fair enough. And how did Venson become a thing? Well, there was originally a post. There was originally a trading post there. Name uh, owned by a guy named Oleg, and then it got attacked by bandits, and both he and his wife died. But uh, originally, originally, it was a old fort. It was a fort from old Rossland that was left. Oh, fair in enough. A state of disrepair, and then Oleg set up shop in there, and then he and his wife died, and then Melina came back later and turned the fort into an airship, and now it's just kind of a spot that we have ah. resettled. So, Melina has caused all kinds of problems for everyone, everywhere. She's really more of a plague. She's kind of like a... I'm trying to think of an appropriate historical personage. Typhoid Mary? No. Alexander? No, not charismatic enough. Uh, what Alexander wasn't charismatic enough. Um, no, Melina wasn't charismatic enough. Okay. <laughs> Napoleon. More misfortune. I, maybe late Napoleon. Late Napoleon's life. Uh. She's like Marie Antoinette. Fair enough, yeah. I don't fucking know. You know, let them eat cake. Never said it. Was a saying it. among the board. Well, she did, but it was a, a saying among the royalty for like a hundred years before she was born. <laughs> Lovely. It's fuck the peasantry, am I right? Pretty much. As always, that's what they're there for. Arguably, like, uh, the peasantry is quite uh, useful, like, you American peasantry. Because, <laughs> you know, like, my country probably wouldn't exist in its current state had you not done the whole let's steal our country from the king thing. <laughs> let's steal our country from the king. I mean, that's one way to describe it. Right. To be fair, I am a monarchist, so... Yeah. Monarchy okay. is very good, very stable. So, um... It's all good. So, uh... You all join Matthias in his tent. Um... Also within the tent are, is a sort of a fairly um, sort of tall, quite thin looking man with a certain femininity, femininity to him. Um, dressed in what were clearly very kind of wealthy plush clothing that looks um, <clears throat> uh, heavily soiled. Um, uh, the man does have an impressive moustache, which he seems to be developing, um, uh, but has a slightly drawn look to him as if he's been somewhat ill recently. Um, 
Also, there is a man of mm, probably shorter than average stature, has a bookish look to him. Um, uh, somewhat pale. Um, get the feeling that perhaps someone who um, spends time being studious. Uh, he is to one side of this foppish man. To the other side is a quite different character, an elf dressed fairly garishly. Um, uh, has a uh, probably a rapier at his hip. Um, seems to have the uh, uh, eating um, uh, a chicken leg uh, with some gusto. Uh, seems quite um, quite happy chap really. Um, although with a keen eye, I will notice he seems to be taking everything in around him. Uh, there's also two halflings uh, there um, who are uh, dressed as, um, I guess, uh, sort of... Exactly the same? Dressed exactly the same and dressed probably as kind of poor merchants, probably. Um... They seem to uh, be wide-eyed, surveying all of the many delectables that are that pile. Yeah. One, or two, I, uh... one or two of whom, uh, of which seem to be finding their way and next to the uh, stall of one of them. Um, who else? Uh, there is Matthias there. Uh... There is uh, Anna there and Ilferin. Haya's hmm. uh, um, wearing her black, black clothes, black armor, and the blue symbol of her asthma on her chest. Okay. And she and Sakel are in elf form. Okay, understood. What a surprise. Yeah. Meeting new people definitely don't want to show up as a drow. Has Alara seen you as a drow? No. They've been maintaining elf form consistently for many, oh, many days now. Okay, so, um... Yeah, it's cool. costing her a lot of spell slots. Yeah. How? Like, Alter Self is... No, she's using Ancestral Regression. It's a 24-hour. Uh, okay. Honestly, you know, she should probably uh, do it as a ritual. Instead of... Oh, no, the spell po the spell slots get used up anyway. Never yeah. mind. She should be making scrolls. Yeah. But uh, I had to get the go-ahead from Ego, so she has not been... Mm -hmm. That's that. And that is indeed that. Is that a cleric list spell? Yep. Oh, damn. Well. Uh. Thank you uh, for all making it here. I think uh, you will all be pleased to know that we are nearing the end of our journey. Um, and one of our uh, sponsors has um, kindly made the trouble of coming out here to join us. 
Uh, he has even been uh, so kind as to bring some much-needed refreshments. He raises a, a goblet mm. of some size, which he quaffs. Um, Tolan uh, walks around and pours, filling uh, goblets for anyone who uh, doesn't appear to have one. Those of you who partake will note that it's mm, slightly curious, but not unpleasant. Hmm. Certainly, given that probably some of you have not drunk in days, those who've been travelling regularly with Caravan, it is a welcome uh, tipple. Mm, probably a little stronger than I would normally drink. You would mute. And Alara, well, yeah, and Alara will probably feel that this is a, a little better. Although you get the feeling that Tolan probably needs to work on the um, paper bit. Now we um. <clears throat> Now, uh, Master Darrow, um, obviously you and I have some things to discuss business-wise, but before we come to that, um, and before most of these others arrived, um, there was the subject of um, the settlement. So, you've uh, raised some concerns around Benson. Um, and its suitability. Uh, I need somewhere to winter the caravan. Um, for my part, I have been to this serendipity place, and indeed, it is. Um, there are restless spirits there that um, would need to be dealt with in some way before it was in any way suitable. Now, as luck would have it, um, our good friend here, um, don't be concerned, Master Darren, it's, it's, a, it's not a dragon. Um, our good friend here uh, has, um, through his aerial prowess and uh, general awareness, has made note and contact with some Templars travelling north to the Crusading Mendev. Possible, Master Dero, that these mm, good servants of uh, uh, Imodai could be persuaded to take a small detour to uh, Serendipity and rid it of it current infestation. Mm. Were this to be the case, then I would be more amicable to considering your suggestion of uh, uh, repositioning the caravan back at Serendipity. If Benson is uh, as poor a choice as you seem to be. I promise you a uh, good um, Master Caravan, or good Caravan Master, that it is a poor choice. Um, I um, uh, was only there through pure necessity, uh, whilst uh, my constitution was poor, uh, though even now I wonder will I ever wash the stink out from it. Um, but be that as that may, um, a good uh, business associate of mine and potentially yours in the future uh, has convinced me that it is a place that is not safe for um, businessmen such as ourselves. Um, therefore, uh, it would seem that uh, I am in need of an alternative location. And, um, well, these Templars seem eminently suitable 
uh, to uh, clear any um, barriers on uh, developing this other area. But I would uh, ask a caravan master for the opinions of others here. Uh, I understand there is an um, acolyte of Phrasma here, is that correct? I am a priestess of the Lady of Graves, Aya says. Ah, no, and uh, an elf as well. Well, very good. Um, um, does this sound then, um, Priestess, a reasonable suggestion? Were the caravan master and I to um, discuss the matter with these uh, would be crusaders? I'm sure they would show their normal. Um, Further in such matters, and uh, rid ourselves of this small matter. I suppose you should. No, ah, that sounds uh, that sounds all very agreeable. Then, uh, caravan master. Anyone else have any comments? No. Um, I have one. Oh, very well. My lord, there is nothing in serendipity. It is a fort. There is no food. I heard there's a stone dwelling there. It's much better than what we have in Benson. Benson is just a pile of mud. Hold on, no, let me no, go. Stone wall. Is what I've Something told. distracted me from that entire speech and I didn't hear any of it. Which, which speech? The uh, speech that Master Darrow gave. I got a vacuum going off in my ear. <laughs> okay. I was simply saying that. Um... The caravan master and I will seek out these temples and convince them of the wisdom of ridding ourselves of this um, spiritual uh, uh, infestation. Yes, yes, Haya says. There is a small problem with, how shall I say, confronting the matter directly. The spirits that inhabit serendipity are not your malevolent, restless dead. They are ghosts, and ghosts are a very particular kind of incorporeal undead. Uh, a ghost cannot be destroyed by simply attacking it with mm, my art. They must be freed from this mortal plane by accomplishing whatever it is that is keeping them tethered here. They're like a plant with a very deep root, and no matter how many times you chop the plant off, where it begins at the ground, it will always sprout anew, unless you deal with the root. And in this case, the root causes the spirits of the settlers of Serendipity were assassinated. We must kill their assassin. Mm. I'm sorry, these um, religious matters aren't really my thing. Uh, it sounded like you were suggesting that perhaps the Templars might have some trouble, yes? Not just trouble, they would find it impossible to rid the area of its corruption unless the spirits are released by accomplishing the thing that is tethering them here to the material plane. But surely... You can talk to the Lady of Graves and resolve this, and simply um, encourage these spirits to pass on. Hmm? Haya sort of strokes her chin and she says, I would have done so were it so easy. Ah, the well, is that I'm, I'm sure once you speak to these Templars, they'll um, put you right on this. Master Darrow, is it? Aya says. I prefer Lord Darrow, but Master, if you will. Lord Darrow, then. 
The ghosts cannot be killed. They must be freed. Uh, freed, killed, uh, is there a difference? I'm afraid there is, and quite a significant one if your plan is to clear them out of the serendipity ruins. Mm, well, yes, obviously. So, um, you said something about an assassin. They seem to be, uh... Yes, there was... station of those as well at the moment. So, do, do we know who, um, or what killed these poor sh- victims? Yes, a shapeshifter who used a, um, a gun, was it? She looks to Sakel, and he kind of nods. A gun to kill the inhabitants of Serendipity. He took on the guise of one Hastus Atellus, I believe it was. Hang on, the gun. Um, his name was Gisla Loman, and he had been, up until now, hidden in the form of a man named... What was it, Sakel? Uh, a sergeant of the Iron Wings, Kramer. Kramer? Yes, this man no, pretended I, to be you Kramer. Must be mistaken, Sergeant Kramer is escorting the Lady Melina. Not yes. Uh, Melina was present during the assassination, according to divinations we have what? performed. Uh, hang on. So where, where is Lady Melina now? Kidnapped by Gisla Loman, and in a location we are unaware of. Well, we must get her back. Yes. We don't understand. My business partner, Miss Melina, is his daughter. If he finds out she's missing, then, well, it's going to be a bit of a fix. We have an idea of where she may be residing. Before our diviner died... Died? She, yes. He ran off on his own and was killed by undead. Oh, it was cool. a fairly fairly embarrassing situation, but that's beside the point. <clears throat> I see I'm not the only one, Caravan Mars. She's been having problems getting the right help. <laughs> uh, he was difficult to reason with. It was really only a matter of time yeah, before he got himself I killed. No problem. So, uh, all right. So, let me get this straight. So, this so Sergeant Kramer is the one who killed these poor wretches uh-huh. <clears throat> and was kidnapped. Lady Molina, is this what we're saying? Yes. We believe he was some kind of deep cover assassin. I don't understand what that means. Uh, he pretend uh, for years at a time he may have been hidden as this man named Kramer and become a member of the Iron Wings to suit some unknown purpose. Uh, he was never Kramer to begin with. He was always Gislaw Loman, but he he, he assumed this identity for a long time. No, I still don't understand. No, but it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I don't need to. Uh, all I need to understand now is how we find Lady Melina. Well, uh, before our diviner died, he was able to narrow down the potential locations Melina might be. And currently, our lead is that She's in the mountains somewhere in a place known as Burning Light. Um, I've never heard of it. What what mountains? Yes. We believe the ones on the border the of Ibarra. That's that's miles and miles away. Indeed. No. Um, well, our diviner summoned a spirit which was. I believe a goblin or a hobgoblin of some kind. Uh, it seemed to know things relevant to Melina's location. Um, none of us could goblin. speak goblin. Where the goblins fit in? Uh, they're in the mountains at this burning light place. It's possible Melina could be in their custody, uh, but that's just conjecture. We believe, um, well, we have been being harried by warg-mounted hobgoblins, and it's possible they could I, be one and the same. Uh, please stop. I, I, <laughs> I don't understand anything of what you're saying. Uh, so, 
All right, so. Aya kind of raises a hand like she, she'll relent. So, so we have these Templars. And uh, I agree with Caravan Master. We just need to find them something to do that will be useful. So if they can't get rid of these spirits, what about getting them to find Lady Melina? Hmm? That sounds reasonable. Although I'd, I'd worry for their health. No, no, we do not actually have these Templars. They are just traveling past. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, no, I will speak to them. Maybe it'll be fine. Um, so the Templars, we can set off to find Lady Melina. What are we going to do about getting rid of these restless spirits then? Hmm? I'll kill Gislar Loman and they should depart on their own once they learn of it. Mm. And then... Um, Gislar and- Loman something to do with Sergeant Kramer? Is this right? Yes. They were, uh, well, Kramer was Gisla Loman in disguise. And apparently he's some kind of assassin. I've met Kramer, the man's a fool. It's possible that was part of the disguise. Pretty good disguise. Quite. Mind you, some people describe me as a fool. Um, it does not take a fool to be fooled. Yeah, that's very deep, I'm sure. So, uh, well, caravan master, in my opinion, you cannot winter the caravan at Ventsel. It is too close to the border of Brevoy, and... Well, there are political complications at the moment. Um, (laughs) Which may lead to you being caught up in more political as opposed to business affairs. You mean which may lead to you getting hung for something Melina did? Uh, well, it's a bit more complicated than that, actually, young lady, but, um, needless to say, Venson isn't particularly a good location for either myself or the caravan master at this present point in time. We need to find somewhere else to winter. If we can't winter in this serendipity place, then where else? What about the woods? The Fae. Yes, what about them? Are we still fighting them? What's going on with them? Where's Hastus? He has answers to some of these questions. Where's that man got to? I just kind of shrugs and she looks to uh, Alara. Uh, He went to... um... Nevatas Crossing? Nevatas Crossing? Oh, why did you go there? It's a horrible place. I believe he was going somewhere after that. He needs to be doing more of his job. What he needs to be doing. Rather than taking away Iron Wings, who have been paid to protect me, he's going off probably going off boozing and wenching. Man's almost as big an idiot as Kramer. So, we've got the Fae in the forest. We've got one settlement that has restless spirits and another settlement that's a cesspit for the poor. So I ask you, good people again, where are we going to winter? The only even remotely viable settlement is Vincent. 
It has food. Nowhere else does. It's too close to the border. Which is a problem for you. It's, it's a problem for the caravan. Why? You think it won't be spotted by from the roadside? What, the road that runs through Venson? The road that runs on the ridge that overlooks Venson. Um, you said political complications. What would what form would those likely take? Are we talking about like an arm, a number of armed forces, or? Well, potentially it could mean mounted mounted soldiers, potentially. Looking mounted. for you. Well, looking, looking for me, looking for other things, like lots, of, lots of strange people who happened to be creating their own little settlement on the border of Bruboy, for example. Ah. Uh. Nations get a bit funny about those sort of things. Higher nods. <laughs> Alara thinks he's being paranoid. <laughs> well, what sort of qualities in an overwintering place should we look for? Well, I don't mind somewhere I can have a bath would be good. That would be a town. What about, Niven? Go any town. What about Niven? Did we get to Niven before winter? Oh, we just spent no. several months coming up from Niven. Nah. All right, so take you that You might in. be able to. Uh, good, good uh, lord. I'm not sure... It would be very practical for the caravan to uh, make the return journey quite so soon. There is a small matter as well, dear priestess, of us needing to find somewhere for your temple. Yes, Benson under ideal circumstances. Under ideal circumstances, it would have been constructed at the serendipity site, but... That's no longer possible. So the next best candidate would be this Venson place. Despite it being um, a cesspit for the poor, as you described it, Lord Darrow. Look, we can hardly suggest it's some form of trading post. We start building temples there. That's true. Although... Phrasma is apolitical. I wonder how convincing that, that position will be, good lady, when you're at the end of someone's sword. What temple? It's a way shrine. I seem to have noticed there's rather a large quantity of stone. I'm guessing you're actually proposing to build a temple. I've no yes. idea. This area is plagued with a restless dead. And I'm this sure my lady has other it, reasons. Good lady. Rather than coming up with excuses or not being willing to use the Templars, that's what they're there for. Haya looks, she just kind of like takes a moment and she says, my good lord, there's a difference between a reason and an excuse. Yes, yes. I still maintain Karen Master. We talk to the Templars, we send them to this Seren whatever place and they will take care of these restless spirits. 
clearly it's beyond the acolyte. Failing that, I guess, I don't particularly feel comfortable with the idea. Who, um, I'm sure someone mentioned we had someone who spoke to the Fae for us now that we've, um, made good terms with them. Alara, do you, do you know who this is? Currently, the position is not filled. We need a new ambassador, as it were. Well, you're some sort of woman of the woods, aren't you? You even know your way around here, these lands? Seems no. like you've, seems like you're good for the job. We need someone to go. I I am unable to fulfil this role on religious grounds. Re religion again, more excuses. Okay, who else then? Who else is going to talk to the Fey? Hmm. It would be an ideal task for you, my lord. Me. Hmm. An no. ambassador. Hmm. That, that is that. true. You do have to it look about you. a comfortable you. winter for you. Yes, there is that. Mowdy companionship, though. Hmm. And, and a guide, someone to... Uh, Apparently, uh, yes, I've met the Fey Lord, small, short fellow, not very impressive, shouldn't be too much trouble. Apparently he's got a court or something inside the forest, not sure how far it is. Don't you need a guide? Could you at least do that, sir, Lara? Um, I could probably do that. Yeah. Well, there we are. Problem solved. So we'll get the Templars to deal with the spirit problem. I'll winter in the forest whilst the necessary building work takes place. It's so nifty. And now, what about the caravan, the caravan master? Where are you going to winter your caravan? My lord, it sounds as if Benson may not be the ideal location, and serendipity, as you say, requires some persuasion of these temples and some, and some work. The... But I'm not sure that the forest would either be the best choice. Last time we were in the forest, things were a little... Complicated, weren't they, Hire? Quite. If I may, while Venson is not ideal for your purposes, it is, in effect, the only place even possibly likely to have enough food to support this many people. Unless you would go further into Brevoy. Um, that still doesn't answer the, the question of the temple, good priestess. Hmm. <sighs> We would need some labor to construct it. I have some experience with stone masonry myself. But the question of labor is outstanding. Clay mentioned something about a temple to a rastal in the forest. Yes. 
Yes. Yes. Is there anything else? Well, Do we know I, where it is? I don't. He, he, he mentioned it wasn't that far from the Spence settlement. Um, could we build your mm, temple in the same area? Hi, looks thoughtful. Might need to have a chat with this Fey Lord, maybe. Don't know him. But uh, now that uh, my good patron is uh, perhaps acting as ambassador, we could do this. Ideally, I was hoping to have it within a center of population. Part of the mission is to tend to the sick. But if it would create enough of a political problem as to bring armed soldiers down on our heads, then compromises would have to be made. Alara has a thought. Well, um... Uh, what, uh... terrain are you looking for? For building the temple? Mm, yes. Uh, flat ground or hills? So, nothing in particular? No. Something that well, provides there a is, firm foundation. There is the possibility of placing it not too far from Vincent, but uh, perhaps a few miles further south. It would still have access to the population whilst being away from the road. I have not explored f too far south of the town, but uh, I've explored at least five miles. It would be no trouble to explore it further if you wished. A bit further? Yeah. But that, that seems like an, uh, a potential compromise. Higher shrugs. Without being able to lay eyes on the ground myself, I don't have any strong reservations about that plan. Well, very interesting. I'll leave it in your good hands, caravan master, in terms of where you want to winter the caravan. In terms of the shipment, though, as I've got a guide, it seemed only reasonable that the shipment should come with me uh, into the sanctuary of the forest. So I will need some um, assistance from a small detachment of your teamsters to effect that. If I may ask, my lord, what are you shipping? Oh, it's just uh, a business matter. Interesting. Yes, I think that could, uh, I think it could be arranged, my lord. Uh, might I suggest, my lord, that the good lady uh, Alara makes contact with the Fae before you venture into the forest, just to confirm that. They can prepare better for your welcome. Yes, it's a splendid idea.
Right, well, I'm very tired now. Okay, my master, my ladies, I, uh, I will now retire and think of, uh, my, um, my soliloquy to, uh, this uh, fey court when I see Oh, good night. And he be quiet and tolling for him. Alara wants to ask Castus if she can turn him in for the bounty. <laughs> Not even for the money, just to shut him up. <laughs> Haya feels uh, much more lined. But she doesn't show it. Yeah. Now, um She's a she's a she's a she was born in a drow city, she knows how to hide her emotions. Yes. Uh, Alara would like to speak to the caravan master in a more less people around mm, okay uh, how are you doing that people seem to be drinking and generally um, you know just walk over to him I'm not like hiding mm. our conversation I'm just not shouting it around the tent Oh, good uh, lady and Lara. Mm, yes, one can't always pick one's customers, but um, the uh, trade note he has uh, passed on, a suitable amount. Yes. It will at least sure. cover my uh, expenses for the trip and a little bit more besides. Yes, well, you will have to find something to take back with you, no doubt. Mm. Yes, um, apparently there's a gentleman at um, Benson Settlement in Mordred, uh, Master yes. of Song, uh, who um, may have some work for the caravan on his next trip. But I need to sort out with uh, the priestess where this temple is going to be built before uh, I yes, take the caravan on its next journey in the spring. It doesn't, didn't sound to me like we'd entirely got to the bottom of where, um, where it's going to be. Have you decided where to winter? I have not, although I think probably Venson. I might, um, I might see if there's somewhere. Perhaps I could look to store the wagons, and some of the tentage, perhaps nearby Venson, and. Um, have shelter on teamsters and some of the livestock actually within the settlement or at least close by. I yes, might, well, that that might could easily be arranged. Um, I've not been to this Benson place. I am not particularly uh, fussy. As you know, I'm not fussy like uh, Lord Darrow, but uh, this political thing doesn't sound good for business. Ah, uh, yes, the politics. I think Lord Darrow is uh, somewhat exaggerating your risk. Uh. Benson does of, uh, seem to be the best option out of a bad um, set. Yes, well, not starving is always best part of a bad hand. Hmm. Very well. Yes. Um, 
Is there anything else, lady? I guess you should go and speak to the Fae and confirm that they are. No doubt they will be delighted Master Darrow is joining them. Yes, yes, it's quite an honour having him there, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, though the one other thing I would ask is, he seemed to be somewhat cagey about it. What, is, what have you been carting for him? <laughs> yes, well... I can understand that. He is, in fact, alas, a business partner of mine, though he often forgets it, if he was ever told. I do own a fair stake in Vincent myself. Well, this may surprise you, but in certain... trading circles that both myself and Master Darrow are associated with. He's not known for being quite the fool. Oh. Although it's hard to tell whether one is an exaggeration of the other. Mm, perhaps. But he seems I suspect he seems very funny. I'm sorry, I interrupted you, lady. Go no, go ahead. I'm not sure that he's necessarily quite as innocent regarding these political matters as you might suppose be my guest. I won't uh, say any more. This, well, he is, um... I have dealt more with his brother than him. No, yes. Well, it's his brother who is... Useful. <laughs> politically sound. His brother collects the coin and he spends it, is what seems to be the nature of the relationship. Yes. Unfanciful things. Though, no doubt, he has good intentions. I cannot judge that good lady. I simply know that he and his brother have the means to uh, cover my expense. Yes, no doubt, no doubt. Well... Um, I thank you for your time. It is all right, lady. And I meant what my offer in terms of um, mapping. I would um, be quite keen to hire your services in this regard, should you be uh, amicable in offerings. Yes, well, I will certainly uh, be willing to Next year, but as I, I told you, I am spoken for the remainder of this one. Busy. Perhaps when you return in the spring, I may be uh, less... Occupied. I'm uh, more free with my time. Yes. Do you plan on going to visit the Fae in the morning? Um... I cannot honestly say. Uh, my initial plan was to take uh, the Lady Priestess out and scout potential ground for her tomorrow. The Fae is not as close as one might think. No. I think the sooner we find 
Lord Darrow and his winter lodgings, the um, the lighter the burden will be, shall we say. That is a, uh, a fair statement, I feel. Mm. I will uh, speak with the, the priestess and perhaps show her some good spots on my travel to the fair. Yeah. I would suggest we want to um, do so before Lord Darrow has the potentially dubious idea of inviting the Templars to accompany him into the Fae Forest. That may not go so well. No, no, it won't. Should he do that? Just, I don't know. I would say shoot him, but that is politically inadvisable. Very well. Farewell. And Alara would speak to Hire if she's still around. Yeah, she's still around? Yep. Yeah. And Hi, she will go and say, um, my lady priestess, um, it seems I have been volunteered as a... Conscripted. Conscripted, yes. one might say. Yes, unfortunate. My heart goes out something to you. My f- something my father said would be voluntold. Huh. Yes. Well. I'm afraid um, I, I don't know. I'm afraid I, I'm capable of no magic to rescue you from this fate. Yes, but I was uh, considering my route. And though I can't spare you a whole day to search for an appropriate temple site, I can direct my path through an area that I thought would be, if not perfect, uh, certainly strong ground to build on. Hmm. That I might show you two on my way through, as it were. Higher nods. I'd be happy to take a look, presuming nothing else comes up. Yes, of course. And I am reminded of um, that location where there was that old settlement, the ruins with the Holy Forge. Yes, yes. Um, fuck, I can't remember what it is. That could be suitable. Perhaps. Though that is, of course, across the river, and more likely we would need to build a permanent bridge, though. That could be done. Higher nods. Which one is serendipity? Oh. Oh, okay, cool. It's not too close to serendipity, is it, Ego? I'm trying to remember. Um, it's it's, uh, it's it's the hex next to it. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that is like six miles. I mean, right. So each hex is 12. each hex is twelve miles. So, yeah. so it's anywhere between nothing and yeah. twenty-four. Right. <laughs> well, uh, Haya says that might be useful. Is um, securing and consecrating that site could be beneficial. It seemed there was some sort of purpose there, but she hasn't been able to ascertain what it is. 
So, um, nobody builds Perhaps. something that intricate without a purpose in mind. Perhaps your mere presence here will, uh, draw the religious personage that that is, um, destined for? Is that the correct word? I am not particularly familiar with organized religion. I'm sure my lady will provide. Yes. I'll just have to stay alert. Yes, no doubt. Good speaking with you. Yes, yes, I will see you in the morning. Try not to lose track of those scrolls. No, of course not. And she will uh, pat her belt pouch. I'll go back to drinking and chatting with Sakel. Okay. Hmm. All right, guys, there's only two players left, so I'm going to call it a day at that. Um, Didn't Matthias want to oh. say something? Oh, yeah, uh, Temple State. Yeah, he just wants to know, you know, because obviously, given the deal you've made with him higher, it, yeah. it impacts him, and he wants to get that settled before he takes the caravan anywhere in the spring. Yep. So, you know, he'll be very happy if you can choose a site so that he can get his current teamsters to um, to build it. Because if you remember what he said to you, his fear is that the minute they get to a settlement, if that settlement isn't the place where they're going to build it, there's a good chance he's going to lose half or two-thirds of his te teamsters in one, it, just then there. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> course they can't really we can't really go back and start setting up the temple well you can't without knowing what's going on with um the war riders and the templars then yeah. you know that that becomes more um more difficult um uh, guess that's that well it's um yeah the caravan well it's not far from vincent now it's taken quite a while some journey it occurs to me that these three are the big hill are they yeah pretty much but the big the big hill is kind of like these three, or is it? That's if that's the center. It's all the surrounding hexes, pretty much, or most of them. Ah, so it's like six hexes. Yeah, pretty much. Or seven. Okay, it's a big hill. Yeah. And then here's the outskirts of the of the forest, basically. The tip of the. No marches there. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you guys are just going to make, you know, there, there is there are no kind of easy, straightforward decisions. And if you remember, um, Andrew, there was a big discussion with Aaron way back about the two mm -hmm. settlement sites and the pros and cons. Yep. And that, that hasn't changed. Not really. Yep. Yeah. Um, all that's happened is both sites become more complicated. Well, clearly what we actually need to do is we need to find the good site that you guys, like, failed to find last time <laughs> and pick that and just move the, everything. The good site. Well, so one site 
that wasn't discussed when you had the chat with Aaron, but is actually quite viable. And that's where that was the Stag Lords fought site. Yeah. <coughs> what? It, it's built, it was the site itself was built on the edge of the Tusk Water. So it's very, it's great from a, and that's kind of got almost like a, you know. Isn't that where the fake court is? No. No, no, no. no. So you've, what you've got, if you look at the map down here, yeah. This, yeah, can you see that? You can do shift click Uh, and draw our eyes to it. Hold shift. shift and, hold shift and ping. Okay. All right. So. The um, the Stag Lord's Fort was here. Okay. All right. So it's built basically on the coast of the Tusk Water, which you can then navigate because the river flows north to south. So you could actually tr- use the waterways to trade via it. You've got the fish within the tusk water, so you got a food source. Uh, and uh, okay, so you're closer to the Nile marches, fair enough. But as long as you're able to secure the hill, you're in a pretty good position. The Fay are your allies, and you're you know you're far enough away from Brevoy. That you're not going to get, you know, they're not going to pay any attention to you down there. So I'm just saying that's an option. The only, com- the only kind of what's made life more complex is, of course, Yasin stole all of the stone. Yeah. From, the, <laughs> from the, the original party keeps keeps eating the forts. Yeah. Molina ruined Oleg's fort, and Yasin took all the stones from the Staglod's fort. And turn them into serendipity, which is now covered in ghosts. Yeah. And yeah. the dwarves are gone. Well, no telling where. But Taya wasn't kidding about being a stonemason, so. I don't know. So no one knows where the dwarves are gone, although um, that will become clear we guess. soon. You don't um, say. Not yeah. well. Not good things may have happened to them. Well, they're not dead. Hmm. They're not dead. There and are a great given, many things they, that you can still be alive and not be just trying to die. Oh, sorry. They were, given as a, they were given as a gift to someone. Interesting. To get someone out of the poop. Interesting. Given as a gift. They got so kidnapped on their journey between Serendipity and Venson. So I may be about to run into them at the Fay Court. Yeah, entirely possible. Gee, I wonder who could have kidnapped them. And does she have cat ears? Uh, so it was female, but it was not Amalai. Lady Amalai now, of the fake court. Indeed. Yeah. As I'm sure she would revel in telling Hastis over and over. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Yes. These XPCs that become NPCs of double-edged swords. Um, yes, we need to start a, um, culling program. <laughs> culling program. Okay, okay. Targeting anyone who leaves the organization for assassination sets in a bit of an interesting precedent. Yeah, sure enough. You, you no, sim- no, 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 no. You could simply take a position of you know, they are useful contact stroke potential allies. 
on the basis you've already got relationships with them and they start out as mostly friendly so yeah um it's not bad and who knows maybe some of them will actually be successful and continue increasing in power so the way i'm the way i'm do i'm going to do it is any any xpc will will level progress at half the rate you guys do that's how i will do it because you guys are heroes after all that makes us fancy what's that that makes us fancy yeah yeah uh, that is the yeah. That's the whole idea. You're not you're not supposed to be kind of a bit cast. Oh. Um, but drinks. to go to Cam's point, just briefly before I let you guys go, you guys do need to start doing a little, and it will. Uh, and I say this to the two of you because I have a feeling it will be the two of you. <laughs> <Huh>. <laughs> you guys need to start having a think about this kingdom and what you're gonna do. Because you, it's not like you guys don't have resources now. You do. It's true. Between all the PCs you've got, you've got resources. Yeah. Yes. Yep. And we've got six months to make fifty grand. <laughs> yeah. Oh well, yeah. There is that. <laughs> there is that. There's a complication for one of you. Yes. Oh, you know, fine. And capture Hiya's father. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I had that like, but much very happy for him to be like given back to yeah. the elves he is, uh, the drow he stole all the knowledge of. Yeah, isn't there a bounty for someone that's around that figure? <laughs> I thought it was only five. Oh no. <laughs> but uh who's Whose bounty's that high? Lucia. Lucia. Master Darrow's bounty is 50 grand. Oh, cool. Yeah, still will totally just go and get <laughs> that. Of yeah. course, you have to collect from the from yeah, the Sertovas exactly. of Brevoy. And they aren't known for being the most forthright. No. <laughs> yes, They're not yes, known I'm for sure. being the most forthright. Although, um... The Scald of Issia did drop a hint that he could potentially help you in collecting. Hmm. Although I, I suspect the heroes will want to cut. Yeah. And then you'll be in a difficult position. Mm. Once more. Um, there is good money to be made from robbing barrows. It's just dangerous. That's true. Um... Although with Haya around now, it might be slightly less dangerous. True. Last time was dangerous, but we will Yeah, yeah and I've well, just got something pretty good out of it. Yeah, well, really we need... Hastus can't come because we need Haya. Is, is that the case, Ego? What? That I can't play two PCs and their cohorts at the same time? I, so my my general thing is is that outside of what I would call kind of kingdom uh, kingdom kind of council meetings, I, I don't want I don't really want players playing both their PCs at once. Mm. It's not a definite like no no, but you know I, I wouldn't so necessarily fair. be I don't I don't want to create it as a precedent particularly involving combats hmm. yeah so we could take higher with us and she could stay at the camp potentially for like a mission but not necessarily take everybody to combat i guess we'll see what happens when we attempt yeah. to do it yeah well i mean serendipity you know that they built the 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 part the part built fort is on top of a double barrow. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, potentially very profitable. Yeah. 
Well, I mean, has- potentially also you could just do something that would make me cry. <laughs> well, a barrow is a perfect place to drop an adventure that I don't want to play. Yeah. Being the Tomb of Horrors. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I mean, okay, how was the, I've only done, so they've done a barrow, they were, okay. what level were you guys, third? Something like that. Yeah. You had NPC help though, didn't you? A little bit, yeah, we have, uh, we had Armag, and, um. Mal. Mal, who were higher level they, than us, I believe. Did they yeah. take all the good loot? They took uh, the piece of loot they were after, and they left the rest of it to us, including gold-encrusted skeleton bones, which Clay happily dragged across the country. <laughs> they would be very useful for um, ritual components. Gold-encrusted skeleton bones? Yeah. Actually, I'm carrying around a tongue and an eye. What kind of bonuses are they worth for rituals? No, you get a bonus they- yeah. Dep- depending on the nature of the ritual, if it was yeah. something to do with you personally, given their origin, I'd give you a bonus, yeah. Am I allowed to tell Andrew where they come from? Sure. They but be- they belong to his parents. Oh. Whoa. That's um, pretty morbid. Yeah. Hmm. Um, Sil's parents had to be um, removed because Sil really didn't want to be sacrificed to some demon lord. So it goes. I think I would yes. empathize with that. Yeah. So Sil may have um, planned and executed a coup de taunt. <laughs> in the way of getting a more powerful draw house to absorb hers, his. I guess that's, Was uh, that's what Was not expecting the bill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sil has got to pay the um, transition cost. Oh, yes, of course. As a... The as a transition bet. cost is, of course, a highest father. Yeah, t- typical... But- well, that's the way he can pay it off. Yeah, the way that's how he gets rid of the principal. The interest. Is, is there on, a cash value on that? On what? On the father? No. Say if I like came into three million gold, could I? Cash no, that you out? could. You could try and negotiate with them. Yeah, but in terms of the deal you've made, no. To get rid of the principal, you you have to. You have to cash in high as father. Yeah, you know what you need to do. Or eliminate a major drow house. Yeah, yeah. There was um, there was the other thing they told you about about the site. Do you remember? Oh yes, yes, I remember that. Yeah, mm. I think that's a bit far away for this year. Yeah, yeah. This year you need you need a, a close to home solution. And at the moment, your the two options that are publicly available on the table is you trade in Master Darren, assuming you can find some way of collecting the bounty, but you probably have to share the bounty with the heroes of Brivoy, because that's the only way I could see you could collect it. Or you go Barrow raiding. It's good money. Yeah. Yes. Or how much is has to yeah. Well, yeah, there was actually a third option. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nobody knows about that. Well, hey, what's yeah. has sword worth? <laughs> it's worth a lot of money. Fifty grand. It's worth a lot of money. <laughs> See, I have no idea what it does or that it exists. Uh, still will know. Roughly instantly when he sees it. Still must have been present when you've had the sword. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah that's just, uh, yeah, that's just so keeps will, it on him. Yeah, so you will know that Hastus Still hand. concentrates on the sword. Okay, it's a powerful magical sword. Yeah. Okay. As in, as in not, not a temporary enchantment, that is a real, permanent, powerful magical sword. And has to keeps it close at night. Yeah. It also makes him more dangerous as well. Obviously. I mean, if it were anybody but Hastus, it would make him dangerous. But in Hastus's hands, it makes it even more dangerous. I don't think Syl has witnessed Hastus uh, use his secret techniques yet. No, no, no. True. The only the only thing Sills witnessed is dying from fucking Tem- crazy temple. accidents. <laughs> crazy accidents. 